Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. since the tragedy. Oh, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. she's brave to go on this journey on her own but it isn't bravery that drives her 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear and runs far, far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering, there's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Hey everybody, Briar here. Welcome to Senua Hellblade. Um, I, you know, I was never really interested in this game, but I don't know. I've just been having a sudden ur urge to. Um, you know, the trailer for the second one looks really good, and I know nothing about this game, so I'm excited to get into it. Also, hello. I I'm not dead. If you if you'd be watching the Twitter, you'd know that I've been streaming on Twitch lately, which been, has been a lot of fun. We actually got affiliated. Take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. Okay. Um. Ah. I Do not I forget e my it. story, Senua, because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find mm, a bridge dark. covered in gold. Wait, I want to hear the story. From the dark world of Okay, so, some, so something shitty's going on. Let me get that out of here. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Is this triggered by progress, or is this just kind of something that happens when you linger for too long? This is an absolutely stunning game. Oh, is it nice and quiet now? Let me stand in the sun here. Oh goodness gracious! Anyhow, um, I, I'm I'm back. I think. Um, you know, what? I'm just I'm just gonna focus on the game. That's all I'm gonna do. That's cool. Knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Hellheim. What are we going to Hellheim for, and why do we have a coconut?
is no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Hold whose soul? Her dear beloved. Ah. Dearly. So let me get this right. Are we got a dead dude that is our lover, and we're going to Helheim to try to get his soul back? At least that's what I think is going on already. I mean, we're only like five minutes into the game. It's a bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to make sure we're actually recording. So someone said there's a hidden path to Helheim, which is what I'm going for. Wow. It... In, in terms of recording, it's a little... a little weird. And this game has at least a good bit to do with kind of like, um... mental issues and stuff. Um... But it, at least for me, it's kind of difficult to focus with all the whispers and stuff. Mostly on account of, um, you know, I'm a stickler for wanting to hear what things are saying and being quiet, and I don't think I'm going to be able to at least do that with this game too well. Mostly on account of the voices. I, I know that's over there, but I want to explore over here real quick, but there does not seem to be anything. I don't know if there's going to be collectibles. That's a lot of dead dudes, though. Um... Okay, hold on here. I'm trying to see if we have like any abilities or anything, but I don't think so. It looks like it's just um, our sight right now. These things look a little familiar. Good lord. That is a lot the of going on. Speak of nine worlds. I'm just focused. Speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Alright, so that's where we're going then. All right, we're going to uh, we're going to Helheim, which is exciting. Um, this follows a mm. you know this this follows the same mythology as um okay hold on uh interact F press F to interact um this follows the same mythology as um. Ooh, ladies, please, please. As, um, oh God, what were the other Norse games we played? It's hard to think with all the voices like me. I underestimated how difficult that was going to be to to focus with everyone talking at the same time. Stop. Um. You know the games we played. Um, with Absalom. No, this is it. The hidden path. Absalom and Unforgiving. Hello. Oh, do we have to have an offering or something? He's going to hurt you. Don't kill me. Touch it. I was just hiding. Find I live longer that way. Listen, Mercy. the bastards catch me again. Never!
truth. It's my truth. It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. Guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. This game is absolutely fucking mind blowing. How gorgeous this is. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. And you'll see what happens if you focus. So I need to find that rune then. Uh-huh. It's near. Focus. Uh-huh. I know, I know, baby. Towards the gate. And the gate will open. I found him rooms. I'm a room man. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Um, interact. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's this. It worked. Like, I mean, wow, how gorgeous. Spent six is. years enslaved in hell. But I watched the movement, learned their ways. I know you did. You listen when everyone else laughed. My people pay the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Who are the Northmen? Ooh. That's okay. Ooh, that's a long way up. Another voice joins us. She was trying to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. So sorry if I'm a little bit quiet. I feel like this playthrough may not be the best in terms of my commentary, but um I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near. Waiting for you to make that. Stop, little stop, slur. stop, stop. Did I die? Did I die? What? Did I need to hit the interact button? So we'll just take it slow. Do I actually control? It's okay. It's okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay, just no, no, gain your balance, gain your balance, it's okay. Okay, I was trying to watch body language. I don't know exactly what determined if we were doing good or bad, but I was trying to determine if it was the body language that was doing it or not. Um, what do you want? The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the Nine Worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Alrighty then. Why was our why was our love boy sacrificed? I feel like that's a good question to have. Is it nice out here? Kind of nice. Wonder what that's supposed to be. But no, what I was saying was I, I I'm worried that this game might not be the best game for me in terms of commentary. Usually I can just kind of like mouth diary everything, but I you know I'm excited to get into this game and the whole I'm assuming it's like. Schizophrenia, maybe? I really don't know. I have no real idea um, what the actual issue is. The voices in general. 
um, kind of, I won't say they disorient me, but I, I want to listen and I want to hear what they have to say. And I want, you know, you to also hear what they have to say. You know, if I... The face of Hela herself. The heart of the goddess. <coughs> Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Another, another tablet. What is it? That's a big bitch! That is not what I thought it was going to do. I don't know how to combat. Ah. Ah. Okay, space bars dodge. Oh, there's another one! Woo! Come here, bitch! Fuck. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha! Damn, that felt cool. Woo! I want more games with combat like this. Hello! Fuck you, you gonna get dunked on, bitch! I know a combo! Oh, he's already dead. Whoa! 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 Hold on there, Jethro! Whoa! 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 Um. Hold on! Run, please! Oh, jeez. Oh, um. That's not what I wanted! How do I, uh... How do I... How do I unlock? Jesus! Behind you. Oh, good lord. Um... Ooh. Okay, so... But Quiet you I can't tell if I if I did die or a vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. 
It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. It's a door, honey. Don't. Okay. If the rat reaches in you's head, her quest is over. So, can I, like, genuinely lose the game and all progress will be lost? Why don't you fuck off? Oh, boy. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now at least she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. Damn. All right, so... No shit, Sherlock. Why can't she open? She needs to challenge the god. She has to fight Stop two quiet. gods. Nordman said in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named. Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> Mythology's fun. Mythology's a lot of fun. But um I know we I, I know we haven't gotten too far into this game, but this video is already gonna be running really long with how the intro was. Um but, you know, let me know what you guys think. It's wonderful to be back. I, um, I intend, whether it was intentional or not, I really don't know. I kind of just stopped uploading. A lot of things happen around Christmas time and the holidays were very busy and all that good jazz. And, you know, it was kind of nice to just take a break and stop looking at numbers and stop worrying about a schedule that I keep promising I'll stick to, but I never do. So, I'm going to try to hop back on some sort of schedule i'm not sure if not you know i'm just not going to stress myself about it um you know some days are easier than others to stick to the schedule and do work and i'm just going to attempt to do what i can um i, ma I made a tweet a while back that i haven't abandoned the channel and i absolutely have not you know i still love you know what i do and i love all you guys who are supporting me and all those, you know, wonderful, nice things, but, um, I always say it's not about, like, numbers or anything like that, and it, it never is, but, I mean, regardless how you do it, even if you say it's not about numbers, you have those numbers, you have your statistics, your performances, you can see what could be doing better, and even if you say it's not about the numbers, you see it. And it affects you whether it's in a positive or a negative way. And I 
at who I am, I I kind of tend to obsess over it, and it sways my mood, and it sways how I do things. And you know, taking that break was really nice. I haven't I haven't looked at numbers in about a month now, and it it it's been relieving on my emotions and my mentality, and that's been nice. Um, but also, we've been going we've been doing live stuff on Twitch, and you know, the numbers aren't is bad over there it's a ni nicer platform for streaming i always say i don't like twitch but i i don't know it, it's been nice to go over there and start growing community over there as well um it's not nearly as stressful as what it is doing it over here on youtube it's a whole different kind of worry that i'm trying not to worry about i don't know i'm just rambling for a little bit even but even though i said i was gonna wrap up the video i just wanted to kind of like talk for a minute. I know I've said I'd be doing a vlog for like six months ago, but I still haven't kind of gotten to it, so I just wanted to, you know, talk a little bit. But anyhow, it's very nice to be back. I'm very happy to finally do an upload for you guys over a game that I'm finally very interested in, and hopefully you guys are maybe not as much in the dark about this game as I am, but are going to enjoy the ride together as at least I experience the game. And if you haven't seen it, we'll experience it together. Thank you guys so much for coming by the video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And the streams are going to be over from Twitch from now on. So I'll see you guys in the next video or I'll see you over on Twitch for the next stream. Bye.